Hello? And my interest has changed. I know I haven't uploaded in a long time. It's just because I've been working on this. Um, so here's the interest that I've had. So you know it was X-Men. Then it was Scooby-Doo. Then Book of Boba Fett came out. So now it's Boba Fett. But the funny thing is, I already have a helmet. And like the Black Series one. I'm not going to review that because mine didn't come with a piece that makes it complete. Well, it did come with the visor thing at the top. I forget what it's called. But, um, I will, there's Ruby. I will, but you'll just have to wait and see what I'm ordering. It's supposed to come on Monday. This might, this video might come after Monday. <laughs> okay. Here is my Jebba's Palace, or Boba's Palace mock, and it is a little bit frustrating. These pieces are old. They don't like, okay, I'm just gonna fix it in then. There we go. So now the outside. So here is some rock formations with some sand, because it's up on a hill, and you'll see why it's up on a hill later. You kinda can see right there. Um, so here is a little door, but it, you take it off, it doesn't actually go anywhere, but, yeah, so, that's like the door where C-3PO, well, actually, I guess this would work. This is the door for, um, the Rancor to come through so they can transport him into his cave, and so, here's a little balcony, but it doesn't lead anywhere or anything, so, yeah, oh, dang it, <laughs> Okay, so here's the tower. I got all these pieces. I don't have the original Jabba's Palace set because I like I didn't need, when I when it came out. I didn't even know it actually came out. So yeah, so here is some like a tower, and here is the main. I don't know what this thing is called, but dome maybe. And here's some design like with gold. It kind of looks like Egyptian or something. And here is a door. Well, this is just a facade, so in theory, but dang it, I literally just lift it up and then it falls off. Okay, so, and we also got some windows and the gate. And, okay, so in theory, this would be coming off here and there would be more. But I used all of our tan bricks. Like, we have... I didn't even know how much we had, but, so here is that door, and it has a Scooby-Doo thing, which kind of looks like a Jabba family heirloom or something, and it just leads into there, and Ruby, Ruby, I'm trying to film a video, thank you, and, okay, this is not going that well. I'm just kidding, it is. I, okay, I'm just gonna come back to you when this stupid roof doesn't, which actually stays down. It seems this thing does not wanna stay down. Right here. I hate that. Look, every time I do this, just focus. Okay, there. Do this one? Well, I guess I could do, I don't know. Anyway, so, and now this one doesn't, okay. So anyway, here's a back to tank. Where you can take... Okay, I'm better with my right hand. That's the one I write with. Here's a back to tank. And it does... Um, well, it does open, but I am not that good. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, that's why I hate using tripods, because it always falls up. Here's a back to tank. And so it can open and close, and... And put it back with those two by two I don't know what they're called maybe jumper plates and yesterday I did not have these arches I built them actually yesterday so yeah but like yesterday morning so I didn't have those arches but now I do and I oh yeah um, a couple things I used the sensei Wu oh my Chinese rice farmer hat to make the Dome go a little bit to the top, and here is the throne room. So, it, um, I have a couple of play, well, actually only one, but 
who cares? Um, so, wait. So here are, so yesterday I made this more accurate to the film a little bit. So here's some seatings for the guests and some arch, like the staircases and the throne. And he has the dark saber for some reason. It's just a black katana, but it still looks good. Here's prototype Boba Fett, my custom Django Fett. I got this from a um a cal or a advent calendar, and a villager. What well, kind of looks like he was meant to be here? A Jabba ser or Jow Jow was serving drinks. Bosk, which is actually thirty six dollars right there. A Gamorrean guard with the I don't know which series, but a goblin body, so it looks good. The a Mandalorian, this guy. I do have the Mandalorian, but I gave it to my brother. And this guy, uh, I don't know, remember his name. Pretty sure that's, mm, I don't know. But that came with Ninjago. And the coolest thing ever, I'll just keep it hoisted up like this. If you pull back, oops, I wasn't supposed to show you the downstairs until later. This, it drops into the Rancor pit. I've included that you can take this off that stays there obviously just need to push that down oh, oh I didn't realize that that came with it okay so take off that and down into the rank pit. um I did run, run out of pieces so I had to make put these here because they were pieces with snots snot techniques that stands for studs not on top I'm sure you already know that but, um, this Rancor, my brother got for Christmas, and he gave it to me. And he has his extra, extra, extra long chain where, yeah, and it's a little bit squished inside because, yeah, I'm not that good. And this guy can now be eaten by the Rancor because now he's in the pit. And this, um, I love Rancors, so I'm not gonna kill him, but this is for killing him in the set, but no. And I also have one more cameo, Malakili. The weird part is, Malakili does not have a mustache in the movie, but he has a mustache, a little bit of a mustache right there. Do you kind of see that? I don't know. Well, Malakili has a... Sad face. Yup. Yeah. Just him putting his hood back on. So that's about it. You put this back on. And the I did make it so that this is like cut out. Yeah. Sort of out of like a chunk of the mountain but, and yeah so I do have that um the fourth slave one that was ever made not not like in, including the Django Fett one the I don't remember what year I think it was 2010 yeah that came with this Bosque I got it for Christmas and but I'm not gonna review that for a couple reasons. First, I modded it so it's not the same thing, but, um, yeah, there's only one reason. And, yeah, there's only one reason, okay. So, yeah, and this is my Jabba's Palace mod. If you know me personally, you know that I had a different channel um, and the mock was red. It was, like, red. Like the color. Okay, I've got to fix this. I don't know how, though. But, yeah. So, well, that's my Jabba's Palace mock. Okay, see ya. Into the next video, where I will review the thing I'm ordering. Okay, bye. Actually, before I go, I just switched around some of the pieces that were the same. And now it sort of goes down. So this is goodbye. Not forever, but bye.
And also, this kind of bugged me, but his chair is inside of his window. Anyway, so this took, oh yeah, I forgot to do this. I know this video is kind of like all over the place, but this is me, so who cares. There's this door where Mela Keeley comes in, starts crying when the man dies. Man, the myth, the legend. Okay. I'm just trying to find this where my camera will go. See ya. Um, this is goodbye. I need to let Ruby out of downstairs. Okay, see ya.